I'm Esther Morrow with Bloodhorse.com, and today we're going to be meeting last year's Kentucky Derby winner, Big Brown, who is standing his first season out here at Three Chimneys Farm near Midway, Kentucky. Big Brown was last year's big Triple Crown hopeful as he won both the Derby and the Preakness Stakes. He was the first horse since 1929 to win the Derby, breaking from the 20th post, and he went off as the favorite at odds of two to one. And even though he fell short in the Belmont Stakes, he still retired as last year's champion three-year-old male. Let's go learn a little bit more about Big Brown from Three Chimneys marketing director, Jen Royce. Big Brown came to Three Chimneys in 2008 and started his first year at stud in 2009. And he settled into his role really well here. He seems to take everything in stride. We had a big welcoming party for him in 2008. And even with all the fans here and all the photographers and the media taking pictures, he just kind of went with everything, never got riled up. And he just has the attitude where he handles everything that comes to him with poise. So he settled into the farm great. He goes out to his paddock every day. He comes in and does his breedings during the breeding season, gets groomed and bathed daily, and seems to really enjoy life after the track. Big Brown had that combination of brilliance and heart that people look for when they look for racehorses or for sires. He broke his maiden very impressively winning on the turf by double digit lengths. And then he went on to win race after race leading up to the Kentucky Derby by monster lengths each and every time. He came to the Derby and beat the best horses in the country pretty easily and then went to the Preakness and won under wraps. He went on to the Belmont and ended up not completing that race, but after the Belmont, he beat grade one horses on the turf, and he also won another grade one race, the Haskell. Since Big Brown's retired, he's really recovered from the injury that ended his career. He wore a Z-bar shoe for about a year, but since that time, that's going to be coming off, and he'll be barefoot for a while, and then beginning next year, he'll start being ridden every day like a lot of our other stallions are. Since he's gotten to the farm, we've gotten to see a lot about Big Brown's personality. He's very people oriented. You can tell that he had a lot of human interaction on the track because he just thrives on that kind of thing, which makes him a pleasure to be around. When he came off of the track, people had really high expectations for him physically, as well as obviously he had the athleticism that everyone saw. But once he got here and we saw what he looked like, his physical is outstanding. His confirmation is great. He's just a very balanced individual and so even with our high expectations, we were blown away. He exceeded those in every way possible. We've had a lot of breeders coming out to look at him too, and he's exceeded the breeders' expectations as well. They knew he was good looking, and they talked about that during his racing career. And obviously on the track, you could see he just looked like a healthy, very athletic horse. But when they come out here and see him up close and get to kind of look at him from all angles and feel him, they love him. They love everything about him, it seems like. Big Brown is owned by IEAH Stables, and the head of IEAH, Michael Iverone, has two daughters who love Big Brown. And they're young, and Big Brown's been a huge part of their life. So since he's retired, they've sent him cards and pictures just to let the horse know that they still love him. Big Brown still has quite a fan following. He obviously had a great fan following on the track. His fan following has transitioned with him to the farm. He's got tons of fans who come out here to see him. We do daily public tours and Smarty Jones is a huge part of those tours the fans want to see, but Big Brown is right up there with Smarty. Fans come here six days a week to see him. They send him a lot of fan mail. He gets fan mail from little kids who send him pictures and then he gets just birthday cards from people who loved him on the track or just notes to his connections just supporting them and telling them how much they enjoyed watching his racing career. He's actually had visits this Keelan meet by uh, his trainer, um, Rick Dutro, and he had Kent Sormo out here too to see him. And it was nice for them to see him in a new environment away from the track and just kind of enjoying life in his paddock. Okay. When Rick Dutro came out to see Big Brown, he came over his paddock to his paddock to say hi. And Big Brown, as soon as he heard his voice, knew it was him and came over to say hi to him. So it says a lot about the treatment he got at the track that you could really see there was a connection between the horse and Rick as soon as he heard his voice. 